Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another replay. Yo, check it out. Today we're playing against the Ujama Country 60 card deck. Ujama Country. Ujama man. Um, I think they play the ABC. They got danger in there. Maybe ABC. I don't see any ABC pieces though. This one's just Danger Ojama. That's it. Yeah. No ABC. Sometimes they use the ABC um, Buster Dragon combo. So what else we got here? Oh, okay. Here we go. Nothing different. Just the usual Ojama. Yeah, Ojama. Pretty good. It's pretty much pure. So let's watch it. And then uh, I think I... I think he lets me go first. Let's find out. That's all I can do, man. Just search for the ob Obo Raptor. I did, I was gonna do Mare Mare, but I didn't have to Yang Z, uh, uh, <laughs> but you have to Yang Z, so I was just gonna double shoot my Mare Mare. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Cause he didn't kill me, he left me what a, a thousand And uh, yeah Alright, let's check out, it's the same deck man I'm, I'm using this deck for tomorrow's tournament I'm bringing this one to the tournament Of course I don't have no side deck, you know Like I said, this loses to a lot of uh mm, Back row I could make a side deck. If I was gonna make a side deck, I would do uh. Hold on a second. I would do three Jinzo. Um. Then I would do uh three Denko Seka. Seka. Cause Jinzo no traps, you know, to be used. <clears throat> but they can solemn warning and solemn solemn warning and uh solemn judgment I guess um and then maybe trap eater cuz a lot of continuous traps are really uh powerful um And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could put other ones. Maybe a. I don't know. It's nothing I could think of. Yeah, you don't need much to side deck. I mean, since we stick with all monsters. Uh, maybe a. Um, guess we could do like Eaters of Millions or something. You do either a million if you want, you know that that takes care of pretty much everything. And uh, yeah, I don't see anything else. I mean, I mean, you know, you got three more cards you could put in there. Uh, only thing, like I said, maybe a lot of back row, maybe um. Link uh, Slayer, maybe Link Slayer. That way you can get rid of like um. <clears throat> yeah, that would be my uh side side deck right there. Jinzo for the traps. Um, this one's for you know a lot of set stuff. Uh, trap eaters for um. Pretty much, you know, back row stuff, uh, 
continuous the only one you can't send is a uh, macrocosmo because uh you have to send it to the graveyard and then either million just take care of i mean anything pretty much um and then same here just discard for back row so when you play against uh, decks like that, you probably don't need the uh, the spear mode. You can take the spear mode out. You can take the eaters a million out. Uh, that's four cards. So you know it depends what you want to do. Four cards. Um, that's gonna be useless against like a you know like monarch deck or uh, <coughs> true draco things like that um maybe you know like true monarch and take him out i mean you know you don't need him because there's not gonna be any special summon um yeah so that's one two three four five and then you just put whatever five you need from here um yeah depends what you want so that that would be the side deck and then we'll just uh that's pretty much the side if if i was gonna make a side deck but i don't side deck i don't know i just play play to play if i face the altar guys or whatever yeah if i face the altar guys or you know any frogs or things like that doesn't matter you know so all right so it's for beginners you know I like to emphasize that so uh, people don't be like, hey man, you suck. It's more, you know, just a discussion. Different things we can do. Um, like I said, you can put those side cards in there if you want. But I'm not a... I'm more of a casual player. Like, uh, if my deck can't handle whatever and if luck's not on my side, then so be it, you know. I'm more of a, I uh, just go to the tournament just to hang out and, um, you know, just film and things like that. I'd rather just make videos, you know. That's that's what I like to do and goof around and have fun, you know. But um, there was a time in my life where I did uh, try to play competitively, but in the end... Uh, I was like, um, like the end of the day, I was like kind of miserable because I would let things get to me because I was trying to win so hard and trying to do things and I wasn't being myself, you know, for me, just goofing around, losing or whatever and getting random prizes, whatever that that's, that's, that's me. I'm not telling you to be like me, but, um, you know, er everybody, everybody's different, you know? So you find your own play style. If you're a competitive person, that's great. You know, I mean, if that's what makes you happy, you know. You know, because I, I, I hear people say, oh, you know, what's the point going all the way down there, wasting all this money, and and you're not going to play to win, and I don't get, I'm not happy unless I win. I mean, it's great to win, you know. There's two sides, man. Somebody's got, there's always a winner, and there's always a loser. And then there's like a shitty ass loser, you know. Um, so what I like to do is, uh, what I usually do is I would play someone and I would like introduce myself and just have a little chit chat. Just get a little, little thing, you know, to know them a little bit better. See how the person is or whatever. And if they're jerks, and what I do is I win, if I win, I would, uh, <laughs> I did this one, this one guy a long time ago. Even today, he hates me, but whatever. And I would wait for him to, like, walk by behind me while I'm talking to uh, the store owner, Joe. And then I would say, hey, um, I'm dropping. <laughs> So he can hear me. You see, if you were a nice person, 
then I'll be like, oh yeah, you won, you know, whatever. We still play, have fun, just like you know, like me and Anthony in our last video, we have fun. No, he's a better player. I mean, even we play for real, he's he'll beat me. It's just he's a better player. But um, like I said, you know, that's why he was, and then Anthony was telling me because I told him this story, and he goes, yeah, man. That's why I'm always nice to everyone. I'm like, yeah. One of my friends would always say, you get more di more things done with sugar than salt, you know? And in Yu-Gi-Oh! or any kind of competitive card game, especially online games, it's a lot of salt, man. More salt than, was that, Saddam, Saddam, Saddam and Gomorrah? Yeah. Where they all turn into a pile of salt. Mm -hmm. Alright. So now that I got that out of the way, you know, yeah, I'm excited, man. It's, uh, what time is it today? Today is Friday, of course. 8.23, we got plenty of time. So tomorrow is the tournament. We're gonna go to it. And, uh, yeah, have fun. And hopefully I won't be late this time or forget anything. That way uh, I can not drop out of my first round. So. <laughs> Alright, standby phase. <clears throat> Main phase one, what can I do? I could set this but uh we have this i can search for see i don't have any baby for uh, the true king I, oh wait let me put this shit i did all that and i didn't even uh i didn't even have that thing on the description sorry about that so you guys can see the cards um I could search for the uh, Miss Miscellaneousaurus, and then um, he contribute that and a uh, dinosaur. But we don't have any dinosaur. I mean, no baby saurus or uh, Patita Rana Dun or Nana Dun. So <coughs> we're just gonna normal summon the so eating over raptor and search us uh, his his daddy, which is the ultimate ultimate conductor. So that's that's it, man. That's all we can do. So then, uh, sixty card deck, of course, you know. So you can see it's all pretty much with Jaman. Get cat gets two beast, beasts, and then he has a lot of uh, uh danger, into instant fusion to get things. Yeah, so. But oh, he has, he's playing Tri White too. Yeah, he's playing. Is he, he's playing a lot of. Uh, it takes a lot to uh, combo this. Uh, <clears throat> this deck takes a lot of combo. My deck is just. Uh, it might be takes one or two turns, and uh, yeah, after that we pretty much go off, man. Especially when people. People play against me, they don't know what my, my deck does, you know. So you play a deck that, you know, that, that makes you comfortable. As you can see, I don't have the, um, I don't have the Earth one, because I don't have it. I would run it if I have it, but I don't have it, so we don't have the Earth one. We don't have, uh, the Earth, so... And then there's this, uh, bunch of Ojama. This guy's pretty badass. Yeah. So he has a lot of uh, utility tools for as far as extra deck, but it's almost a uh, a lot of decks pretty much do this. Um, pretty much Borosword and uh, Yangzi, the evil Yangzing, evil Yangzing, and then if you play like um, Lunar Light or Time Thief, anything with um, level four. We always going gonna go into a uh, double or nothing, you know. Yeah, it's a quick quick steal. So <clears throat> just be aware that somebody could drop a borrow sword on you anytime, and a uh, a borrow sword and a uh, double or nothing. Okay, utopia double or nothing stuff. So. Alright, so let's see what this Ojama guy is pretty much gonna empty his whole hand just to try to kill me. One thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! is uh, if you don't 
if you can't kill the person that turn, don't go all out. Okay? Do not go all out. Because anything can happen. If you're sure you can't do it, okay? Don't do it. So Foolish Burial Good says send one spell or trap card from your deck to your graveyard. You can only activate one Foolish Burial per turn. I mean, he sends a Metaphor Fusion. Uh, if this card's in the graveyard, you can shuffle this and then draw one card. So he's pretty much... I don't know what's the point of 60 card deck. When you're trying to... Why not play a 40 card and then when you thin this, it'd be like... You know? That's like playing Upstart Goblin, you know, on a 60 deck card. I don't know. What do I know? So he gets uh, Danger. Activate uh, Dragon Ravine. Um, you can add one low uh, Dragundi, which no one really uses that. Uh, most of them, they're just gonna send uh, a Dragon. So he's got Distrudo. He usually sends Distrudo. So I'm guessing he's playing more than one. So he'll discard the trap card. Uh, during either player's turn, except the turn the card sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon two Ojama monsters from different names from your deck. Hmm. The problem was, <laughs> he didn't get a second turn, right? I wonder why he quit because he has this oh because ultimate conductor can just flip him down <laughs> yeah this guy right here he loves it when you have more monsters he's 3500 man you know he loves it when you have more monsters <clears throat> so then he's gonna do ojama country this one says uh once per turn you can send one ojama card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon Ojama monsters from your graveyard. While you control Ojama monsters, the defense and attack is reversed. So he has no Ojama in the graveyard. Wonder why he didn't pitch this instead. I don't know. Because then this would be like 3000, right? Yeah, it would be 3000. Yeah, sometimes you have to play. Well, a lot of times. You have to play smart. I was going to say smartly, but I don't think there's a word called smartly. Yeah, you got to play smart, you know? You just got to be like... You have to look at people's hands. How many cards you got in the hand. You have to look at the graveyard, you know? See what they got in the graveyard. You have to like, okay. It comes with experience, you know? Not, you do, not everyone knows every deck. I don't. That's why I'm just, the reason I'm making these kind of series. I'm learning a lot by making all these uh, different decks, you know, versus Danger Artists, they review and then you, you know, you do ra pick randomly the card. If you get special summon, you draw a card. If he goes to the graveyard, if he goes to the graveyard, we both draw a card and then you have to discard one card. So he uh, has two Distrudo. You can only use once per turn. So he's got. This trap card could bring two Ojama. This guy could pay half his life points and bring him out. So he's got like two, two things to go off in a graveyard. Okay, so a lot of a lot of decks try to build graveyard. Uh, I don't think any deck can do graveyard like Burning Abyss, man. Well, I guess Light Swarms can too, but Light Swarm is a lot of uh, luck, you know. If you draw your charge charge of the light brigade and solo recharge, yeah, you, you go off, man. You go off like big time. And then again, there's a card, um I don't know if you know his name, it starts with the N. Yeah, right there. Nibiru. Yeah. He loves it. Only problem is I only have one. <laughs> it's so funny I have one and I draw more in my spear mode. Yeah. It's funny. So he gets a uh, special summon and then uh, he gets to draw a card. Alright, he, <laughs> he gets another one. Oh man. Oh, Jama, oh, Jama. He's got, yeah. 
It's playing like nine Ojama. Yeah, it's playing nine like nine. Yeah, nine nine Ojama. Yeah, it's playing the six of the one black green. Maybe it's playing two of each. Yellow and blue. Okay. So we have yellow, that's two yellow. Two black. Two green. Three yellow. It's playing three yellow. Why three yellow? Three two green, three green. Three black. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know too much about you know like the song. I don't know much. Now he normal summon uh Ojama Blue. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add two Ojama cards from your deck to your hand. This includes Ojama Muscle. This can include. I wonder why he didn't just like crash into it and then get. He already got. Does he even play all those Ojama spell cards? But there, Ojam Magic. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one each of green, yellow, and black from your deck to your hand. Yeah, he could, uh. Hmm. What other? He's got this one. Ojama Delta Hurricane. You can only activate this card while Ojama Green. Yellow and black on a face up on the field. Destroy all monsters your opponent control on the field. Only problem with con with destruction is a lot of cards does not die on destruction, especially like uh, you know um like Orcus and stuff like that. Target one face up monster on the field. Special summon one monster from your hand or graveyard with the same original type. As that monsters, but with different original name. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, he's like whatever. Then he's paying four thousand to bring this. Why is he paying four thousand? Okay. <coughs> oh, cause he wants to go to Zhang. Yang Z, the Yang Zing 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 Zinger. Yeah, there you go. He's stupid because he would have wasted it. Because if I would have had a uh, miscellaneous source, I'm only playing two right away because I only have two. I would play three if I have three. Yeah. So this one uh, unaffected by. Uh, Dinosaurs unaffected by other cards effect. Is that a cost to destroy? When this card uh, control destroy by battle and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one. Okay. Cannot be targeted by opponent's card effect. You can only use the. Okay. You can target one Yang Zing monster you control and one card your opponent control. Destroy them. So I guess it still goes through except that mine won't go through if I have miscellaneous Saurus. Okay. Just gonna destroy both. Bring out the Mare Mare. Like I was saying, I was playing Mare Mare. But just uh double tribute. Cause I'm you know old school like that. Well about double tributing level eight. Or seven. In this case, seven. So he's gonna get three tokens. We have our own token too. We have our own token called Skate Ghost. See? So, only problem is the, the extra, you know. So, you can go. Um, 
Link's <clears throat> Link Spider to uh, one of the Nightmare, and then I guess go into Borrow Sword. No, you need three plus, right? Three plus effect monsters. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, he's got um, Mamre is the, the third one. Okay. So yep, Link Spider into a another Link Spider. Why? What? Why did he waste it? That was a waste. Why did he go to a Link Spider? That was a waste. That was a waste of a Link Spider. I don't think he plays Pot of Everest, does he? Only thing I could think of if you're playing Pot of Everest where you uh, put three, I don't know, it's three monsters or three cards. I mean, uh, five monsters or five cards. I think it's five monsters. I could be wrong. I know it's five something. He's not playing Pot of Everest. So that was a waste. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I know why. Because they were both token. And you need two different names. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's why he went to it. Because, um, you need two different names. Okay. And he didn't want to get rid of this guy. Because he's like, oh, he's a thousand. I wonder why you didn't uh, special summon this one in attack mode. That would have been 14. But I guess he wanted, like, if I destroy this one, he gets two Ojama. Yeah, sometimes you can't like overthink, you know. And you have to be quick, especially at a tournament, you know. So he's gonna go for Boros Sword. So Boros Sword is uh, when he attacks, you can spin one of the monsters on either side to defense and he can attack again. And if he attacks a monster, he gains half of the attack. So whatever monster he attacks, they're gonna take three thousand in the face. But unfortunately, uh. 3 times 2 is 6,000 and plus 1,000 is 7,000 and I have 8,000 and he's at 4,000 so he pretty much uh oh yeah this is um as you, if you notice on the picture here it's 0 okay and 1,000 defense but because of Ojama country it reverses it but link monsters don't have uh defense so they always can be whatever the attack is stays at the attack but even my um ultimate conductor here he's at 32 defense so even with ojama country he could still beat over a lot of things so with this guy um a lot of times when you summon something and then you use effect he's gonna change your, your, your normal special summon to defense so he can't even so it saves him from one attack. So uh, I was thinking about bringing my uh, Gizmak down, but I'm like, nah, that's that's my only out to this bad boy because I don't have a Kaiju or nothing. So that's my only out is uh, Gizmak. So um, yeah, you know, sometimes you gamble and you lose, and he so he tagged me for a thousand. And then he's gonna use this effect to turn this one defense, which now he's at zero defense. But he gets to attack twice, so I'm taking six thousand. But then again, like I said, he didn't kill me, and he's got one card in his hand. He's got graveyard. See, the thing is, he's not playing black rose or nothing. See, he doesn't. You gotta play Black Rose Dragon if you play uh, the Strudo because you never know, you know. Oh, you can't anyway. That would be a level five. Okay, never mind. You're playing level two. Okay, I'm just saying because <laughs> I play a lot of level four. All right, never mind. So the best thing you get is a level five. So he didn't kill me. So, uh, then main phase 2, then the end phase, and then at end phase, I'm gonna bring down my, uh, Gizmak Orochi. So I banish 8 cards, 
Yeah, it's a cost to banish eight cards. Even if they negate this, doesn't matter. So what you do is you have to, before you bring this down, what I do is I just count eight cards, banish it, and then I say, uh, then you say, uh, Gizmac Origins effect. Okay, because that's a cost. So you got you always got to pay for the cost. Kind of like when you go buy a hamburger, you know? You go to McDonald's and get a, I don't know, a one, two, three uh, combo, whatever they have, special value. You're like, give me a dollar menu. And they're like, okay, dollar, ten cents with tax. You pay that, then they'll call your number. Number 310, then you go up and get your fries. Same thing, this guy. It's like, you pay the cost, so you banish eight cards. And then, his effect kicks in. And then the uh, opponent, if he has anything to respond, he can respond then. But you always gotta pay the, uh, the tax. What did we banish? I don't know, I never check. Two. <laughs> Wow, we banish uh, two Gallus. Yeah. Nothing useful. We got five babies, so two of them got banished. We still got three more. No big deal. We got another uh, witch. Got three witch, so one got banished. We got three uh, Green Maju. It doesn't matter. When Green Maju comes out, if you don't win, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like right here. When this guy comes out, if you don't win, I don't know though, how would he do that? Cause he saw me get the dinosaur, right? So he's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta beat him before his big brother comes to kick my ass. Which he didn't. So now, uh, it's now our turn, so we draw. Guess what we draw? It's funny cause, uh, I was watching Hector and he'd be like, he'll draw this and he's like, oh my god, what the fuck? That's what he always say. What the fuck? Like he doesn't have a poker face, man. You know, you play any card game, has a lot of luck. You know, you just gotta ride it. Just gotta ride the rock. You know, ride the rock. The good thing about this on my deck is it's l level eleven. So if I do it with the, if I send him to the graveyard with the uh, Gallus, that's two thousand two hundred. Burn damage, you know. That's why I'm not. I don't really care too much when I have these big monsters that I can't use, because I could always uh do the gallus. And uh, yeah. So now we have the rock can't do nothing. So I was thinking, hmm. So I'm gonna use the his effect to uh, banish three cards from uh. From my extra deck. I usually just grab the first three. Doesn't matter. Either that or towards the end, like the last three or something. I don't know. You know? Because I only play one Orichi and he's gone. So, uh, the BFD is pretty much done because I only have one of the. the uh, not Orichi, the Kika. The Kika. Kiku. Gives me a Kiku. Yeah, I only have one of him, so. So, banishing the Calamity doesn't matter. And in this, I have no. I have one level 8, and I guess I could keep that, because this one, that one, but then I have no Earth to bring him down, so. Like, Orochi plus this can go level 8. And then this, you need two level 4, I only have one, so yeah, none of these are working right now, so. I banish those, uh, those three. See, banish to you, and then uh, destroy this because uh, it's not like his his other brother uh, borrow load where you can't target him. This one you can target. So, uh, but he can't be destroyed by battle. So he's dead. So now I do the special uh, normal summon the witch of the black forest, and then get this too. And then we go into Phoenix. And then, uh, cause Phoenix is a, a fire, and you need one fire, at least one fire and another monster. So, I could search the witch, I could search for another fire, <laughs> like, I don't know, Dogaron or, uh, 
Miscellaneousaurus. What it doesn't matter, but you you just can't use the effect that turn. So uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna destroy his uh, Jama country, even though his um his defense gonna be uh. But remember, if he gets destroyed, he gets two uh Ojama from the deck to his hand. They don't have three three cards. Doesn't matter because he's not gonna get destroyed. So we blow up the Ojama country, and then we'll uh, do that. And I could do these two, and then banish that. That's what I should have done. But think about it, because I forgot that he was at four thousand, right? Look, if I hit this with that and that, and then banish, and then drop the drop the this, that's game. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I was just like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Oh, did I? Did I? Yeah, I did banish it. Huh. I don't know what I was thinking. So uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty much game. Oh mine, I did banish it. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Never mind. I I was thinking of another game. All right. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's Ojama, sixty card Ojama. Yeah. Try not to. Uh, it's nice to do combos, I guess. Like me, I'm I'm trying to do way too many combos. So, still waiting for my cards. Avida. Avida. This guy. He's a level 11 too. Comes to Master Rule um, 5. He's really not gonna be. He's gonna really be like low because a lot of people are not gonna be playing Lynx. <laughs> Same thing with uh. Gizmac, he'll, he'll come down. I bought one already for $30, so when Master Rule 5 comes out, and then when people say that uh, if this one comes down to like 20 bucks, I'll probably buy like three more. I don't know, I just like them. See, I will, I'm trying to buy this guy, more of this guy, but um, every time I look, he's going up. I think I got one for 12 and then I got another one for 20 but like I said when Master Rule 5 comes out and this guy is about 15 or 20 dollars I'm gonna get um like 3 more 3 or 4 or 5 4 I'm gonna have, have at least 6 I don't know I just that's right now that's he's probably one of my favorite card right now see I'm trying to get away from dark you notice my other older videos I'm using a lot of chaos decks but because uh, I'm preparing for well yeah they can do that with them um, with uh, <laughs> my my token but whatever token is token you know um, I'm trying to get away is because um, the reason is because super poly everybody's gonna play super poly because Hero decks gonna be big. Uh, fr uh, was that Frightford? Frightford? Patchwork? Patrick Frightford? Whatever the fucking bullshit stuff animal damn deck is. Um, who else? Ritual has always been there, but uh, Fusion I think is gonna be really big. And uh, Fusion Super Poly is like. A staple you know it's in the decks so that's the reason why a lot of times I'm trying to avoid but then again uh, you know I have these these all these boss monsters are all dark so um, so I make sure I uh, bring them out later later see he's dark they're all dark, man. Look at it. all dark. All the RX seats are dark. All my five 
links are dark but whatever I, these are more of a uh, like I say a utility um but most of the time I just you know just as you can see I just kill them with either uh Orichi oh he's dark too okay never mind okay Orichi or well um the good thing is uh even if they get the super poly out if I have output ultimate conductor I just flip it down because they have to be destroyed by card effect or by battle so if I flip it down it, uh, he just sends the monster to the graveyard I could distribute him with the uh, dog around so yeah but the other ones yeah I'm trying to cut down on the dark but dark is like really good all right so I guess that's it man that's that's Ojama that's Ojama man thanks for watching man so tomorrow we'll uh, go to the tournament and we'll upload that video and then we'll back we'll be back to YGO again you know thanks for watching again enjoy like as always